Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. I am working on the linkages for the ailerons and the ailerons function off of two rods that are shaped like this. They're just mirrors of each other and they slide in through slots in the fuselage like so and they go to these two servos. Now I have one uh, just temporarily in place here and I wanted to show you an issue with this. Uh, both of these rods have a Z-bend at the end. Now the first thing I needed to do was uh, bend this Z-bend uh, a little further at the top linkage here to make the vertical portion more perpendicular to the long horizontal. I uh, hope that makes sense and you can probably see how that isn't uh, quite perpendicular here. Uh, otherwise it was trying to flex the rod up and uh, wasn't uh, letting it uh, the horn go on smoothly. The next problem is uh, the fact that, <clears throat> excuse me, this tip of the Z-Bend here is very close to the, um, the servo's pivot point. And I've got a servo tester attached here. I'm just going to show you what that does. It goes forward just fine, but as it moves backward, the that tip is bracing against the uh, against the the shaft. Um, basically, it's banging up against here. Okay, as the servo rotates, that basically jams in and it tries to flex the push rod into the fuselage. Uh, it doesn't rotate properly. Um, I think you can see by, when I go there, see that's where it's making contact. And as you can see, it's bowing out here. Uh, that's bad. Um, so uh, there's a variety of ways of dealing with that. Uh, if you don't have one of these things, get one. They're cheap, um, they're around $8. Uh, I was just in a mode where I could twist left and right. I just put it into a mode where it centers the servo. So uh, that's always good to center point your servos. Different ways of dealing this with this would be to uh, bend uh, the bottom piece to the side uh, so that as it rotates, it doesn't contact as much. I tried doing that a little bit. I put a bit of a bend into it and it still was a bit of a problem. I also think that this is a fairly small amount of throw compared to the size of the control horns. I want to be able to set up the ailerons as flapperons, so I want a little more throw. Uh, there's not much clearance to work with here, as you can see, and so I'm possibly going to be using a different servo arm and uh, of course I'll have to enlarge one of these holes uh, to fit this size shaft and then trim away as much material as possible. Another option that I have, let me pause the video, the other option I have is to replace these two servos with a pair of these. I showed these uh, previously in an unboxing video. Uh, these are a very small uh, metal geared servo and they're very high speed and reasonably high torque. They're undoubtedly stronger than these. And I'll try to set one right next to the other one. As you can see, they are about a third as wide. So if I mounted them side by side as these two are, that would move the connections or the pivot point slightly inboard and allow for a longer horn. They also have a smaller uh, splined uh, fitting here. The output shaft is smaller in diameter, which means that the can, um, uh, excuse me, uh, the control horns, these are going to be smaller in their outer diameter as well, uh, which means less likely to contact the rod. <clears throat> Yet another option is to take a, uh, an aftermarket clevis such as these and 
cut away some of the material um, basically on the bottom one where it's going to contact you kind of make a, a little uh, half moon cut there and uh, that will allow the servo to rotate on the forward stroke is where it would be making contact at that point uh, trim this rod and uh, glue these clevises in place that would produce the uh, the same effect and uh, the only problem is getting them in to the side basically I'd have to try to fish these out from here instead of being able to feed these in this way so again problems 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 I'm really surprised I haven't seen anything online about this issue uh, because these are the control rods provided, these are the horns provided, these are the servos provided. Um, I'm not doing anything that is not exactly to the kit's instructions. And uh, that binding issue is a big problem. Um, it, uh, it wouldn't matter if I flipped uh, the control rods upside down. I would still be encountering the same issue. I would just be encountering it at the other end of the throw. So I'm going to tinker a little bit. Uh, I can't show you all of this futzing around I'm doing, or these, uh, this video would be an hour plus. Uh, but I'll do a video on how I figure this out, what I end up coming up with.